Welcome to module two, video number one, and today's video is titled, Determine Your Unique Selling Angle. So before we start writing the script to our sales presentation, we need to determine two things, which is what we're gonna do here in module number two. And those two things are your unique angle and your customer avatar. So your customer avatar is a description of your ideal target customer, and your unique angle is the one big thing that makes your product or service different. It's what sets you apart from the competition. So here in video one, we're gonna start with your unique angle, and I cannot stress to you how important this step is. Your unique angle is your chance to wear red to a formal black and white party, or in this case, bright blue and orange in that classic scene from Dumb and Dumber. This is how you get noticed in a very crowded market. And I think the best way to learn this process is through examples. So right now, I'm going to walk you through the unique angles that have been used by seven different companies to create incredible levels of success. Now, what eventually become the unique angles for my products typically start as shortcomings in competitors' products that already exist. And you'll probably find that to be the case for you as well. So let's start with one of my companies as our first example, and that is the Elevation Group. So in 2008, I turned 30, and with that milestone came the realization that I needed to start learning how to save and invest my money. The fact that the market had just crashed as well served as an additional eye-opener, and what my parents' generation had done with their money might not be the best route to take moving forward. So I headed to the local bookstore and I dove into the sections on financial education and investing. And what I found were books that talked about the previous paradigm that had just come to a crashing end. In other words, their solutions were no longer relevant. So next, I jumped online and I subscribed to all of the top investing newsletters from companies like Stansbury Research, Casey Research, Motley Fool, and Rich Dad, and even some other economic newsletters that cost up to $25,000 a year to join. I'd say over the next 12 months, I probably spent around $50,000 on books, courses, events, and newsletter services when it came to the topic of investing. Now, what I found is that newsletters like Stansberry and Casey had excellent information, but they were all stock-based and filled with charts and graphs. And the problem was, I didn't know how to buy or sell stocks with any level of sophistication, so that just caused a lot of frustration. Now, on the other end of the spectrum was Robert Kiyosaki's Rich Dad Books and Courses, and Robert is an absolute master at taking complicated subjects like investing in finance and distilling them down into easy-to-understand concepts. You know, for example, how to build wealth by investing in cash flow real estate like apartment complexes. That was something that he talked about all the time, and it made a lot of sense. There's a lot of benefits to it. You come to realize that it's a fantastic proven way to build wealth, but I had no idea how to invest in real estate, especially apartment complexes. So once again, I was left feeling like there were opportunities all around me, but I had no idea how to actually invest in them. And I realized that if I felt that way, many others probably felt the same as well. Nonetheless, I still needed to figure out how to invest and grow my money. So I decided to create my own financial education business that would solve these problems. So if you can imagine for a minute, here I am wanting to start a financial education company in an extremely competitive industry where no one has heard of the name Mike Dillard before. I did not know a thing about investing, so I'm coming to the table with zero value to offer anyone. And the market is filled with companies like Stansberry who are doing anywhere between $100 million and $300 million a year in business. They've got over a dozen different products. They've got teams and staff of 100 plus. It seems like an impossible task, but it wasn't. All I needed was a unique angle to present to the right customer avatar. So the first thing I did was to list out the things that I did not like about existing products and services. So the first is that the available financial newsletter products out there were just very technical. They were filled with charts and graphs and terminology that uh, you know essentially required you to be a stockbroker to read them. Second is that they were always delivered in text. No one in that industry was using videos. Third was that most of their content was geared for their audience, which was typically in you know the generation above mine, and they have different financial priorities. And finally, when I did discover a strategy that I liked, like investing in apartments, uh, you were never really put in touch with someone who could help you execute that strategy. You had to go figure it out on your own. 
So these were the things that I did not like about the existing products out there in the world. And I realized that, gosh, I'm probably not alone here. None of my friends subscribed or used any of these services. Neither did my parents or any of their friends. And yet they had all just lost 40% of their portfolio value in the crash a year earlier. And yet their only option was to give more money to another broker and keep their fingers crossed that this time it would work out better. So I saw an industry with products that I didn't want to buy and a huge market of people who had just experienced a ton of pain, yet they did not have a solution moving forward. So this was clearly an opportunity to do something different and present a product with a unique angle to a new audience. So here's what I decided to do. I decided to be the guy in the red suit at the black and white party. So instead of pretending to know everything about finance, I'd admit that I know nothing just like the average person, which would make me relatable. Instead of being a teacher, I would simply be the host because, again, I didn't have this background or expertise when it came to finance and investing. Third, economics, finance, and investing are boring. They just are. So we'd set off on a global adventure filled with travel, documented in video, and tell stories that our customers could follow. Fourth, nobody wants to be middle class, so we would strictly focus on learning how to invest like the rich and alternative investment strategies like apartment complexes. And fifth, if I made an investment with a person or a firm, I would include their contact information so that our customers could call them as well. So once you determine the features that make your product or service unique, you have to distill them into a single sentence that encapsulates that uniqueness. This is your unique angle. So how do you do that? Well, you ask a question. And the question that you should ask yourself when it comes to your product or service that will help you determine your unique angle is simply this. What is fill in the blank with your product or service? So what is it? What is the Elevation Group? And the answer, well, the Elevation Group teaches you how to invest like the rich. So that became the formal name for the company. You know, at the end of the day, I was creating this company and product in order to learn how to become rich. That's the problem that I was solving for myself and others, which means that my target audience would also have that as a primary desire as well. So if I had to distill the essence of what the entire service was about in a single line of text, this was it. And that became our unique angle in the market. Join our global adventure into the world of investing as we learn how to invest like the rich. So did it work? It did. It stuck out like a sore thumb. We became the fastest growing financial education company uh, in history, as far as I know. We did over $3.2 million in revenue in our first seven days and around $10 million in revenue in our first 12 months. So think about that. This is a brand new company nobody's ever heard of or seen of before, headed by an individual they'd never heard of or seen of before, who knew nothing about the topic or subject matter that the company was built upon. And yet we came out of the gate got noticed by the world and crushed it. And the reason that was possible is because we chose the right unique angle. All right, so that's an example from my personal companies. Let's move on to some that are bigger and a bit broader as well. Now, there's an amazing new restaurant right down the road from me here in Austin called True Foods Kitchen. There's about a dozen or two around the country. And despite an absolutely horrible location that hardly anyone can find here in town, it's packed all the time. So how are they pulling that off when other restaurants seem to struggle and they might be on the corner of a downtown location? Well, it's because they have a unique angle and a very defined target audience that's displayed right on their homepage in their restaurant and on their menus. So here's a screenshot of that website and let's ask the question, what is True Foods Kitchen? Well, they're very clear and upfront about it. It is honest food that tastes really good. So that is their unique angle and it's what has allowed them to carve out their little niche at every location that they have around the country and to do really, really, really well in a very competitive industry. Now, here's another great example of how a unique angle can allow you to dominate a very boring market filled with similar products. Have you ever heard of Yeti coolers? Well, they're absolutely huge in Texas, and in fact, they're based here in Austin as well. And Yeti was started by two brothers in 2006, and their story has just been astounding. Now, think about it. How do two young men with very little money and who've never made a cooler before compete against giants like Coleman or Igloo? Now, after all, coolers are just insulated plastic boxes that keep things cold. There's nothing unique or revolutionary about them. They are essentially a commodity. So how do you turn a commodity into a product that people covet and desire 
and that they're willing to pay 10 times more for. Well, as you can imagine, they used the power of a unique angle. They wanted a cooler that would never break. They wanted to be able to stand on it and fish from it on their boat, and they needed it to keep ice long enough to cover their two to three day weekend fishing and camping trips. And interestingly enough, there was not a product out there on the market like that that did those things. So they decided to make their own, and they would go the opposite of the competition in every way that they could. So if Coleman and Igloo would sell their coolers at Walmart for 30 bucks a piece, Yeti would sell theirs at select hunting and fishing stores for $300 a piece. If the competition held ice for a day, Yeti would keep ice for three days. If the roof of the cooler would break if you stood on it, Yeti would tell you to stand on it. If their coolers were easy for animals to break into on camping trips, Yeti would go out and get theirs certified grizzly proof. So all of these features would eventually lead to their unique angle, which became wildly stronger, keeps ice longer. And thanks to that unique angle, Yeti went from really a nobody, know nothing company to a $450 million behemoth and is now one of the hottest brands in the world. So next up, let's talk about the fitness and weight loss industry because these guys are the masters of creating unique angles. They have to be because there's so much competition. Every year, there's a new tide of some kind coming out. And if they don't come up with a unique angle, they will absolutely never, ever get noticed. So the guys over at Six Pack Shortcuts created their biggest marketing win ever this past year when they released a brand new fitness course for men. And as you can probably imagine here by looking at the picture, they definitely had a unique angle. It was a product just for men who are over the age of 40, and it was simply called Abs After 40. So what is abs over 40? Well, we help men over 40 get six-pack abs. That was their unique angle. Now, another example in the fitness industry is my good friend Aubrey Marcus's company, Onnit.com. Now, on the surface, Onnit is just another health and fitness company selling weights and supplements. There's hundreds of those in the world. So how do they stand out? How did they build their company and their brand? What's their unique angle? Well, their unique angle is human optimization. This is a little quiz they have on their website. Their products are designed to help you achieve optimum health and performance. But I personally believe that the real reason for their success in a very crowded market is through the development of products with style and personality. This is an example of their primal kettlebell, and this is what put on it on the map. It took a boring fitness tool that has literally been around for thousands of years, and it made it new and different and unique. And being new and different is how you get a guy like The Rock to use your products and post pics on Instagram with them. And now today, they've just done it again thanks to a partnership with Marvel Comics and the release of their Hero Elite series. So once again, they're taking boring pieces of metal like weight plates and turning them into something incredibly unique like Captain America's shield. They're selling the same stuff as every other fitness company, but they're applying a unique angle to their products, which turns them into the gal with the red dress on at the black and white ball. So what is on its unique angle? Well, according to them, it's we create products that give you optimum human performance. If it were up to me, to rewrite this based on where I see them going, I would change it to this. We create products with style that give you optimum human performance. All right, now let's tackle something even more challenging. How about pizza? How in the world could you possibly start a pizza company and stand out from the crowd? Well, let's just ask John Schnatter. In 1995, his pizza company, Papa John's, launched the slogan and their unique angle to the world better ingredients, better pizza. And today, as a result, they're the world's third largest pizza chain. So Papa John's unique angle, we make better pizzas with better ingredients. All right, for our seventh and final example, let's take the sales presentation for this course. Now, at the end of the day, this is a copywriting course. That's the skill that you're learning to use here in seven-figure sales presentations. But there's one little problem. I know from 10 years of experience in this industry, that people don't want to buy copywriting courses. What they really want, and what you probably really want, is to learn how to make more money by selling more of your products. So I needed to come up with a unique angle and something beyond and more unique than Mike Dillard's copywriting course. So the angle that I came up with was how to create an automated sales presentation that will sell your product for you. And the automation part was represented by something incredibly unique that people have not seen before, which was this little robot guy. Now get this, 
If you go back and you read the transcript for the seven-figure webinar, which is in the black book section, you're going to notice something pretty amazing. I'm selling a copywriting course without ever using the word copywriting. The word copywriting is never mentioned one single time in the sales presentation. I'm not focusing on what the product actually is because no one cares about that. I'm focusing on how the user benefits from it and what makes it unique. So what's the unique angle for seven figure sales presentations? It is simply how to make automated sales presentations that do the selling for you. So those are seven examples in very different and diverse industries and all of these companies and products can trace their success back to the unique angle that was given to them. So this process of creating a unique angle applies to both your company as a whole and to each of your products individually. You need to have one for each. And in the case of the Elevation Group, they were the same. So it does not matter what kind of product or service that you sell or how many competitors you have. I hope you saw that with the pizza example. It must have a unique angle that will help set it apart in the marketplace. And that is going to make all the difference in the world. So here is what I would like you to do next. I want you to write down five to 10 things that make your product or service different or better than your competitors. Now, if you don't have a product at the moment or if you're in the process of creating one, then I want you to write down five things that your competitors do right and five things that you would do differently and better. Now, once you have your list in place, I want you to ask yourself this question. What does, fill in the blank, your product or service do? And I want you to write your answer in one single sentence. And then once you have that answer in that sentence, I want you to ask yourself a second question. What do your customers really want? Again, put your answer in one single sentence and boil it down to the most core desire of what your customers really, really, really want. What is the reason that they're buying your product? What is the ultimate benefit that they are after? And what you're going to find is that your two answers should be the same. <laughs> they should be the same thing because your unique angle should directly hit the bullseye on what your customers want the most. And if they're not, that's an issue that we need to address. Okay. So let's go through the examples that we went through one more time really fast. The elevation group. What does the elevation group do? Well, we teach people how to invest like the rich. What do our ideal customers want? What do they really want? They want to become rich. True Foods Kitchen, what do they do? We make honest food that tastes really good. And again, what do their customers want? They want honest food that tastes really good. So you can see the theme here, right? You can see that your unique angle should match the core desire of your ideal customer. So make sure you go back and you do your homework. Make sure you make your list of five to 10 features. I'll go ahead and put this in the text uh, below the video. And in our next lesson here in module two, we're gonna tackle the process of creating your ideal customer avatar. This is your dream customer because if you try to sell your product or service to everyone, you will end up going broke. You have to know exactly who your buyers are and we're going to help you figure that out here in the second video of module two. So thank you so much and we'll see you soon.